Okay, if you think about it, do you remember iCarly? Yeah. And there was Carly and Sam. They Wait. were like the first YouTubers. Look, I am not even in the camera. Hi, I'm Sky. I'm Shy. And I'm so Sarai. <laughs> okay, and this is our first mukbang. We have nigiri hot spicy noodles and then we got her regular chicken flavor noodles we have a bowl of fruit our power raids and then we have a tower of gummies we have more, more gummies back here no, we're not eating those and then that's it we have our own separate bowl well they have their own separate bowls right. For you guys, I have a story. Ready? So there was this boy, he was 10 years old, right? And he got ready, he was going to bed, brushed his teeth and everything, and then he turns off his lights and gets in his bed, and he's asleep. And then he feels this thing enter his bedroom. You know that feeling that you get? Well, you can sense that there's someone there in the same room as you. So that's what he got. And then he felt a graze against his leg. Then he woke up. When he looked up, he saw a little boy with no eyes. Like there was nothing in his eye sockets looking at him. And then he had a little black box. And then he reached it out to the 10-year-old boy. The 10-year-old boy was going to reach out and take the black box. Very confused, but for some reason, he was going to take the black box. And then the like little boy with no eyes yanked it away kind of teasing him a little bit and then the boy was like give it to me and then when he blinked his eyes the little boy without eyes disappeared Maybe. yeah i think i feel bad for the boy that has no eyes okay <laughs> and then years later the dude who was 10 got a girlfriend and then in the same house they were studying together she takes a nap and then all of a sudden she wakes up and she's pointing in the corner of her house, of the house. And then she goes back to sleep as fast as she had woken up. And then the dude's like, whoa. And he waits for his, her, for his girlfriend to wake up. And when she does, he, she tells him what she saw. She, he tells her the story of what happened to him when he was a little boy. And then she goes like, oh, I thought that was a dream. And then they're like, oh my gosh. So this little boy is real, right? Mm. You oh, can start eating. No, that's a scream. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, but that's like... And then that's years like later, again, the little boy, they, I mean, they get a daughter. They have a daughter, right? They're in the same house still. Mm. And then the daughter tells their parents that she starts... She sees a little boy, and she has a conversation with him, and that he's looking for his mom. Mm -hmm. And then these conversations between the little girl and the boy happen on and on. Mm. Creepy. Okay, but if he's an adult now, how is that boy and little boy still a little Because he's a spirit, an evil spirit, or like a ghost, you know? When does this story take place? I have no idea. Mm. Have it was a true story, though. Mm. And then, when they moved out of the house, the little girl stopped having conversations with the boy. <laughs> Later that year. But if you, like, I was thinking about it, and the boy had black eyes, right? Like, no eyes. It was just pitch black right there. And that reminded me of the story that happened with the girls that we saw. Mm. Do you remember? Oh, those those two those two girls that we saw when it was like yeah. midnight. Oh. And I didn't see. Any Do you remember that we were all screaming mm -hmm. in the truck? Oh my gosh! You should have seen it though. I was the only one who saw them uh, when they were sprinting behind the truck really fast. Hey, you oh should tell them the whole entire story. A story within a story. I'll be back. Where to start? You were coming home from something, from somewhere, and then... I don't remember. Yeah. 
And then we saw these two, like, or no, my mom and dad saw these two girls sitting in the grass while they were, like, driving up the hill towards where we live. And then... It was night. Yeah, it was, like, night. And then they, they were, like, doing something, and my dad was driving. My mom was in the passenger seat. And they were both trying to see what they were doing because they were concerned. Like, why were these two girls just out there at, like, midnight? Yeah. I, I think we got home from a trip or something from Col to Colorado. Yeah, it was super late. And so then they both looked at my mom and dad, and they got – my mom and dad got freaked out. So they started, like, driving quicker, and, like, they were like, all right, we have to get out of here. And then – we were all freaked out. We were like, oh my gosh. And then I, I turned back. I was the one person to turn back. And I saw them sprinting. One girl was just sprinting straight while the other girl was sprinting in like big curves. And it was so creepy because they were moving like this. And their eyes looked all blacked out. And I was terrified. No one else saw it too. So. What's funny is our parents had heard stories about kids with black eyes. Like you can't see their eyes. Right before that happened, and they were, they were telling me the story, and I did not believe them whatsoever. They were trying to rush to get into the house, and I was walking super slow because I did not believe them. And then when we got inside the house, they were like, Skylar, why did you do that? Why did you do that? And then I was like, what? What do you mean? You guys are serious? And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> they were like, I don't know if we could have saved you. <laughs> I was like, So the story about the the kids who have, like you can't see their eye, their mm -hmm. um their eyes. So um, <laughs> our parents said that they would like come up to your door, and <laughs> knock on it, and ask to come in. Hmm. So if you see any oh. kids, with no, no, there's more to that story though. Um, when that happens. Apparently, people usually start, like, blanking out, and a hand goes to reach for the door, and, like, slightly open it, about to let the kid in, but then right at that moment, they get out of that trance, and they realize what they're doing, and they immediately, like, stop whatever action they were doing. Hmm. Hey, wasn't I did there, not know that part. Wasn't there another story about that, like, on news or something, where, like, this dude was, like, fixing a car or something, and the dude No, was, he, he was in his car. Like, oh. It was on the radio. Cause literally, like a few weeks after that incident, incident with the girls, there was a on the radio. There's this guy who's in his car, and he saw this teenager. The teenager was like bothering him, you know. He's kind of like, ah, like go away from my car. And then he looked at the the kid's face closer. He saw just black eyes. Like he couldn't see where his eyes were at all on his face. And then the dude freaked out instantly. He rolled up his window. He was like, oh my gosh. And that guy with the black eyes had a girlfriend, supposedly. Like, the dude assumed that, like, a girl with him. And then she had the same thing. And then he was freaking out. And then the dude tried to get into the guy's car. And then he was like, oh no. And then he started driving. Wait, and the dude was chasing him. This was like super fast. He was sprinting. And then the guy in the car was so confused. And then he was freaking out because the dude seemed extremely strong. They tried to run him over. And the girl just was just there, right? She didn't really do anything. She was just looking, I think. And when he hit the guy and drove away, he looked back and the guy got back up and walked away with the girl. Just walked, just got up and walked. Yeah, so creepy. Like nothing yeah, happened. Okay. I remember when we heard that on the radio. That was terrifying. I actually talked about or uh, talked about the black eyed children with one of my friends. Okay. Very scary. Um, what's radio? I, I think <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> Bloopers! <laughs> okay.
episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. It's not funny that you got hurt. But it's now it's okay. throbbing. Oh. All right, it's okay. All right, but that reminded me of the story where I saw a little girl in my room. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was nighttime. We were going to bed. Normal day. Nothing weird happened. Of course, right? It's always a normal day. And then I went to sleep. Like, I was in my bed. I fell asleep. And then I see this little girl. I wake up, and I see this little girl playing, like, at the foot of my bed, but on the floor. And over there, I had a chair with a bunch of toys on it. And she was playing with the toys on the floor. That's what she was doing. She And I thought it was Sarai. At the time, Sarai was eight. But then I looked at the girl. The first thing I thought was, why is Sarai in my room? And she looked smaller than normal. She looked smaller. And she had a dress. Okay? But, I, but at the time, she would always dress up. So I thought it was normal, you know? I didn't really think too much about it. It was dark. I couldn't really see. And then I thought it was normal. And she was just playing. And then I started speaking. And I was like... Sarai, Sarai, what are you doing in my room? Get out, go to bed. You know, you have to go to bed. And then she never turned around. <laughs> she didn't turn around. When I look back, it's freaking me out. She didn't turn around. I saw her and she just kept playing with the doll, the toys. And then I was like, Sarai, get out of my room. You need to go to bed. And then I, I was like, ugh. I lay back in the bed. I'm like, come on. And then I get up. Like, it's all in one motion, no, like, it was, I wasn't, it happened very quick. When I got up, she was gone, completely. And, and you didn't I, hear anything? I heard nothing. There was no sound. I just saw her playing with the toys, and then when I got up, when I went down and then went up, and it was like, Sarai, she just, she was gone. Like, and I, you know, I did the rub eye thing, and then blinking thing, she was gone. And I was so confused. And then I get up. Right? And I'm like, no, this can't be, let's, like, how does she leave? It just freaked me out. And then I go in there, into Sarai's room. She's passed out on in her bed, asleep. I was so confused. She could not have fallen asleep that fast. You can tell when a person's actually sleeping or fake sleeping. She was asleep. And then she was wearing completely different clothes. And then I realized... That the little girl in my room was not Sarai. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. I saw a little girl in our time. house too. She was in the hallway. I was sleeping one night. And then the same she, house? Yeah, same house. Really? Yeah. Well, how come I, you never told me the story? I did. Yeah, you're probably right. I think, I don't know. I don't remember. I was sleeping in my bed. And then I was like awake and I heard someone in the hallway. So then I got up from my bunk bed because I could like see in the hallway. Then I looked at it. It was just this little girl and I thought it was Sarai. And it was, she was just standing there. And I was like, uh, Sarai. Well, she was in a dress too. <laughs> did she look like Sarai? She did. Was she black? Mm, was I she, don't know. She wasn't black too? See, that's the one. I, I don't know her race. I just saw a little girl, and for some reason, I assumed it was Sarai. It was dark, though. Mm-hmm. And what else happened? You can take a gummy if you This Oh, gummy. these gum. this is a lim lemon-flavored homemade gummy, and then this is a blueberry-flavored homemade gummy. That, um, who was the maker by this, these delicious gummies? Our mom made these. Mm-hmm. She also made another kind. Oh no, but with my story. Oh, no. no, that was it. I just saw her. And then I went to bed. Stop, stop, stop. I was wait. like, oh. wait, wait. So, so, she was in the hallway. Wait, you. I'm confused. I love it. So, you just saw her? I don't know how she just. Like, what happened after? I saw her in the hallway. Mm -hmm. I looked at her. I was like, Sarai, go to bed. And then I laid down and went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>
That ghost got you. Oh, <laughs> man. Sorry, do you have a ghost story? I think there was a ghost um, in our house. Oh, yeah. Mommy. Mom. I think I think there was a ghost in our house that we used to live in. Yeah, at Aberdeen Court. I think so. Oh. <laughs> Me and Shailen saw her. Her. Yeah, the little girl in the dress. Me and Skylar both mistook her. No, there her there might be another one though, because one day I was sleeping and there was something right there looking at me, mm-hmm. and I told Ugh. it to go away. Do you remember when you woke up? <laughs> 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 no, should I go away? Mommy screamed. Oh yeah, our mom saw this black figure, and it. it like, it was just in her room staring at her when she woke up, and then she, like, screamed. It was scary. <laughs> I'm not the best storyteller. I like the, the women ones more. Yeah. I don't think I have any ghost stories. This one has more natural flavors. This one tastes like Kool Aid. All I can say is that when I room, like it's super silent, I can't taste it. That's all I can say. Mm. That's scary. Did you hear what Sarah said? She said when, she, when it's screaming. silent, that she can hear voices. Yeah. You too? No! <laughs> no. I was saying, yeah, I heard her. <laughs> I was like, this was a lot of noodles. This was for enough for two people. Mm-hmm. This is my third bowl. I don't know. Oh, I'm not. Why eating. it's not going back? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Although I want to eat more because I'm like hungry for some reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We destroyed our tower of gummy bears. Oh, I didn't have any gummy bears. Who okay. eats them all? I eat two. I eat two too. Then get some. Yeah, I told you to eat some. I have the other ones. Me <laughs> too. I think the roof of my mouth has been burned. Because it's so spicy. Wait, I wanted you to just describe. You said she was in a dress. What? Do you know what color it was? It was dark, right? It was hard to see. Hey, but I didn't have a nightgown back then. Wait. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, it's, I thought, I don't know. I, no, but I the little girl didn't look quite like Sarai, you know? It, it didn't, was she smaller than Sarai? Yeah. She was smaller. Like, it didn't, it, I thought it was Sarai because Sarai was the only little person in our house. But no, she, but- I thought it, when I thought about it, she didn't look like Sarai, really. Yeah. And Sarai fell asleep before me that night, too, so... That's why I was even more confused. Yeah, I'm I was like, why is she up and just standing in the middle of the hallway? Where's this you know, room? it was at Aberdeen Court. The day that happened to me, I asked you in the morning if you went in my room and you told me no. Yeah, I didn't go in your room. Exactly. She was smaller than you were at the time, though. She looked like a five year old or something. That's what I was thinking. Earlier, before I was going to make this video, I thought about that. And I was like, she looked like she was fat. There was a little ghost in our house. <laughs> hmm. Did you ever see a ghost in the house window? No, only voices. Only voices. <laughs> what type of voices? That's concerning. Just voices. Like voices, many high voices, low uh, voices. That's right. That's not descriptive. High and low voices are descriptive. Okay, they they're descriptive, <laughs> but I need more. Like were they like adults, kids, voices? Many. Were there few. only a few voices? What were they saying? I cannot hear that they're each other. I kind of sound like they're arguing. 
Are you sure? Was it coming from like a TV or something? No. If there was a TV on, I would have told you guys to turn it off because I do not like going downstairs. When oh, you heard him downstairs? <laughs> oh, I hate going downstairs in our old house, especially if the lights are off. Or no, if the lights are off. You I always felt like some someone was trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so every time I'd have to go and turn the lights off downstairs, and so I'd turn off and then sprint up the stairs, and if I didn't make it up in five seconds, I considered myself dead. I'd do the same thing. <laughs> It's That's true. too scary. I'd be like running off one, two, three, and then I'd be like, yeah, like, okay, good. It probably was because it was a very spacious area, and it was super dark when you went down there. I don't know, yeah. many rooms. Ugh. Plus, like, you can't see what's in front of you, and it's a dark room. You have to assume there's something there that's trying to kill you. Because chances are, there is. <laughs> I'm still thinking of the Nah, first that's false. Awesome. Just kidding. Um, I do have one. Okay. Okay. So, I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. I woke up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I was in the middle. Like, it was dark. Mm -hmm. And I woke up. It was like nighttime. I saw this figure kind of like peeking into the room over the side, mm -hmm. and it stood up. Like it was squatting down, peeking in, and then it stood up. Peeking in from your door? From my door, yeah. What? And then I was just like, Skylar, what are you doing? Because it looked about like Skylar's size. And then I closed my eyes, and it's just like, I opened them again. And it goes down to like a smaller size, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my! And I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. I close my eyes again, and then it sounds like my size, and then it's like right next to my bed. I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, no, no! And so then I grab my pillow. I try to lock it, but then I'm like, I wake Charlotte up, so I'm just like. But I'm just like, you know what? This can't be real. So I go right. Um, I just put my head underneath the pillows. I covered myself with the covers. I make a small breathing hole, and I just slapped the whole knife. <laughs> I woke up moments later, and I saw it. You know how from my room you can see like all the way down to like where the stairs are about to go down? Mm -hmm. I saw it there. It turned around, and then it's just gone. And I was just like, ugh. <laughs> That's so creepy. Why is there always... No, with Skylar's room, there's just something in there. <laughs> Me in your room, it's trying to get in there or it's looking in there. Yeah. Or it's, like, coming in. Like, it's always trying to get in our room. It's, it's already in Skylar's room. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh>. Why? <laughs> I don't want them in my room. <laughs> it's so weird. I heard us ghosts, as you get older... They start to attack you. What? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's better hurry up. I'm gonna eat all the cherries. Hmm. <laughs> Stop copying me. We we're both drinking, and then we both look to right, and then we both do this. <laughs> really? Or actually, it's more like my arm. Uh, it mirrors you, but I'm... Mm. These cherries are pretty good. Okay, so I decided to go downstairs. But, um, you know how there's like two lights in the kitchen? The back light was on? So I went to go turn it off, and I thought I saw something mm -hmm. trying to get over the back fence. Yep. And I was just like... So I go up to the door and then I slightly open it. And I'm like, okay. I still see it trying to climb over it, but then I turn to the left near the garage to see another one. And I'm like, what is this a zombie apocalypse? So I close the door. I turn around. I go. I'm about to turn off the lights. I turn back. Both of them are at the door, door holding hands. And I'm like, are you trying to summon something in my house? In the house? What? Why now? Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. That's 
That's scary. Um, I dropped the light. How come we've never heard anything? And then I don't stories? see it. No, no, we've never left. heard anything. I actually ate a lot. <laughs> I know. I didn't think I was going to eat that much. Yeah. Yeah, they're gone. I remember some my friends. I mean, one time at recess, we were telling stories in that little area over there where you would play Foursquare. Yeah. Oh, I missed. <laughs> How are we going to do that? In Foursquare? Are you going to eat all of them? No. Anyways, so they're playing for school. There's one left. And we're just talking. I know. He's going to send the message to the rest of the gummy bears that they're in danger. <laughs> but there's only one more left. Look. <laughs> there's a whole bin. Of right. One of my friends said that they recall seeing Bloody Mary when they did the thing. And I was just thinking, dude, Bloody Mary is not real. I never tried it, not until this day. I'm still not gonna try it. <laughs> Me neither. No, I know. <laughs> Philip, one time I was really close, but I was like, nah. I, know. I was like, one, two, no, goodbye. <laughs> I can't do it. I just don't do that stuff. I, I can't even do the one chance. I don't play a Ouija boards. I don't do any of that. <laughs> Why contact something that can kill you? I know. That's like calling a murderer. <laughs> hey, Bill. I heard you're a murderer. Wanna like just talk? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being at our first mukbang. Our first mukbang. Mukbang. We had so much fun. Our stomachs are happy. Is your stomach happy? This happy. Is your stomach happy? Fairly. I overstuffed it, so it's like, sir, it was like happy, and then I made it angry. You're fired. <laughs> okay. Leave a comment down below if you have any scary stories that you want to share. Alright, guys. See you in the next one. Make me move.